than our old friend Donald Trump, who I disagree with, needless to say, say on everything. Trump told the Republicans, hey, you're crazy. Bernie Sanders has done it again. Can you believe Social Security increase more money for those on Social Security and Medicare? He's figured out a way. And here's the thing. Will the Republicans and the Democrats come together to actually do it? Stay tuned to find out. Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for watching. If you want to become part of a great family and win some really cool prizes, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Well, many people knew that Bernie Sanders is for those on Social Security and Medicare. He's for our seniors. He understands that they need to be taken care of. In fact, they should be getting more money. We saw that at the State of the Union, there went a little powwow because Biden said, well, there's some of you that want to cut Medicare and Social Security. And everybody was like, boo, hey, this ain't right. And then he said, well, one of you is. And so to really say that there's some Republicans when it's really just kind of one person, uh, that made them really mad. It rubbed them the wrong way. You've seen it all over the news. People were booing. One of one lady called him a liar. But so many seniors were worried about Social Security and Medicare sending letters to Joe Biden saying, hey, make sure that you take this subject off the table because you cannot stop the program. So many people depend on it. Millions and millions of people are depending on Medicare and Social Security. So lo and behold, Bernie Sanders steps in and says something that was just great for all of those that needed to hear Hear some encouraging words about Social Security and about Medicare and even a resolution to continue it for another 75 years actually getting more money than they've ever got before and I'm gonna tell you something when I heard it I thought wow why aren't we doing this? It makes sense, doesn't it? And so you let me know. I'm going to leave it to you. You let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. But I've got that video right here. Now, tell me this. Before we watch the video, before you hear it, because I know you're going to like it. If you could go back to when it was Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden and Trump, who would you vote for? Just knowing how things are now, seeing how it all turned out, seeing what Joe Biden has done, if you could go back, who would you vote for? Let me know down in the comments below. But Bernie Sanders has a word for you today. Then our old friend Donald Trump, who I disagree with, needless to say, say on everything. Trump told the Republicans, hey, you're crazy. You can't cut Social Security and Medicare. And I think they're going to listen to him. You're obviously a strong support of expanding entitlements like Social Security. The Congressional Budget Office says that without intervention, the program will become insolvent. As soon as 2033, some lawmakers have floated the idea of this bipartisan panel to look at how to save those programs. Would you support that approach or do you have conditions? Well, no, I wouldn't support that approach because the last time around, the conclusion they came up with was major cuts to Social Security, etc. Look, the solution to this problem is not very hard to understand. And we've got legislation in to address it. Anderson, right now, if you've got one person who makes hundred million dollars a year and another person who makes hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year both of those people put in exactly the same amount of money into social security because there's a ceiling on how much you can, your, your taxes uh, will be paid into the program if you lift that cap starting at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars you can make social security not only solvent for the next 75 years 75 years you can increase benefits for lower income elderly people who are struggling really hard right now to get by. That's the solution to the problem. And uh, I hope that I'm telling you, he is for those on Social Security and Medicare. He is for making things right. There's one thing he said, you know, again, I'm not saying who I'm for, who I'm not for, but everybody has said some good things. And Bernie Sanders says something really, really good. Uh, a couple months ago, he said, we need to create a system that works for everybody and not just one particular group. And I fully agree with that because so many people they get left out. Like if it's not their group, they get left out. So why not create systems that help our students, those are seniors, 
those on a fixed income, those on Medicare, the disabled, those that make a lot of money, those that don't make a lot of money, that everybody, you know, gets taken care of. Isn't that the main point of why we elected them as officials, that they're helping run this country, making the best decisions that benefit you and me on a daily basis? So wouldn't we want somebody that's in favor of the American people to help us get through the week, through the month, through the year, taking care of our families, taking care of ourselves, making sure that we can actually have a really good American life. Isn't that what it was supposed to be? Let me know down in the comments below. But yes, I thought you might want to see that information. And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for your chance to win $200. Yes, $200 to one lucky subscriber. We'll be doing that giveaway whenever this channel hits 80,000 subscribers. We are so, so, so close. We can do it, guys, because of you. Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned. Stay warm. Stay safe. Stay sanitized. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace. I can't take no loss.